Hello, welcome to Rafael Technologies again. In this session, we'll see how to consume WCF service into JavaScript application. First, we need to create the record table and the database into our database. As the interest of time, I already created the record table. I already inserted some sample data into our table. Let me just open the Visual Studio. Here, for, first of all, what I did, I just added a class library project into my WCF service. Then it comes with two files. It's called I student service and student service. In this I student service, I define the interface. Its name is I student service. In this interface, I have one method, this types of string. This method expects the um, one, two, three, four parameters. The parameters are name, email, address, and mobile number. And the student service, I implement this interface with the all the code. Okay. First, what I did, I just add a new SQL connection. Then I just create a new SQL command. In this case, our SQL command is store procedure. After that, we're just passing our SQL connection there. Then we are saying the command type will be store procedure. Then we are just adding all the parameters, whatever is coming with the command from our store procedure. Then we are opening the connection with the command. We are using the execute non query to insert, the, insert a new record. Finally, we are just closing the connection, I return a message it's called success as you know the string method always return a message then what i did i just add a new project into our solution in this project i add a service.sbc file in this service as dot sbc file i am injecting our student service okay so make sure if you want to follow the same tutorial what i am doing we just make sure that you need to inject this WCF service from your um, in the client application and make sure you add a reference on this project for this project okay otherwise you will get an error then what I did I just add a work form with a couple of label controls and text box controls and a submit button and a script manager file then when you click the submit button and what we did we just add a method is called on click function okay from this click function we'll call our javascript function then we just i add a script manager file in this script manager file um just define that where our service is located look at the name of our service student service.svc the file path then still symbol then for slash student service.svc this is the name of our service let me show you the the method the code i have written is on student um, i mean call student data service you can make sure you use the same name whatever you define in this code okay then what i did in this call function service in this function i just declaring the variables name address email and mobile number then we are using the document dot get element by id then we are just passing up the ID, you know, in this case, the part, the, part of the ID is text box name, txt name. Then we are saying they get the value. The rest, the, 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 for the rest of the variable, the ID is same, literally same. Then we are just using this method to insert this parameter, what it was coming from our function. Then we are just returning the message. The data is inserted successfully. Okay. If, if you don't know how to find this method i can show you this how you can find this method so when you run this i mean you service into localhost just add a four slash then write js debug okay js debug then you can find look at this this is the function this this is the function you want to insert the record okay so this function expect the parameter name email address mobile number mobile um, address and rest of the properties and is accepting succeeded callback function fail callback function and user context so in this case we are just passing those two parameters are null okay so at this point the 
the service is already running in the machine. This is the service is already run, run it in the local host. So what do you want to do? We want to insert data by invoking WCF service from what JavaScript application. So this is the work form I have already designed from it. I run it from my Visual Studio. So when I insert the data, it's called, for example, say David address is London UK email address say David at gmail.com the phone number is for example the moment waiting click the submit button we expect to data should be inserted into a table let me click this button I already click this button so at this moment we have only one record into our table so when I re execute this query, we expect the data should be inserted into our table when the command is successful. Look at this. The string ID is just 40, name is David, London, UK, the name is email ID and the telephone number. Okay. So if still if you have any question to you about this video tutorial session, just feel free to leave any comments in your blog or YouTube channel. I'll get back to you when I can. So thank you for watching. And next video series, we'll see how to consume a WCF service into JavaScript, I mean, Java application. Thank you very much.